come to common profits. Recently, the Supreme Court of India has given an order that women between the ages 10 to 50 will be allowed entry into the Sabri Mala temple in the state of Kerala. This temple had prohibited the entry of women in this age previously. The basic issue was that the idol of the temple is subjected to negative or disturbing waves during the periods of women. It is well established that during the periods women have different psychic and physical changes which leads to certain disturbances. So if a idol is subjected to only positive waves then the idol gets charged but if it is subjected to disturbing waves then the power of the idol gets reduced. It is for this reason that the temple had prohibited entry of women in <coughs> which are, who are likely to be in the stage of periods. The this does not mean that there is any discrimination. Nature has decided to make man and woman differently. It is well in all religions it is said that God made male and female. If there was no difference, then there was no reason for God to make male and female differently. The fact that they are different means that their strengths and weaknesses are different. Therefore, just as a sportsman and a musician have to be provided with a playing field and auditorium in order to become equal, it does. if we put both of them into an auditorium, then the sportsman will fail. And if we put both of them into a, into a football stadium, then the musician will fail. Similarly, man and woman have different roles in this world and therefore it is not by, by prohibiting women from entry into the temple during a particular period, it does not mean that they are second hand, they are second uh, level citizens. We have to understand that all religions <coughs> have this distinction between male and female and we must honor the natural causes for this difference.